My name is Satya Malviya. I did my undergraduate from Kanpur University and then my postgraduate from Jamia. I have uh, five years of experience and uh, uh, after exp after experiencing my professional journey in think tanks around New Delhi on climate change and uh, public administration within uh, government of India, I chose to apply for this fellowship. So my entire uh, professional educational journey was around disciplinary boundaries, whether it is uh, IR, whether it is pure political science and history. Uh, IHS provided that interjection of uh, climate change, urbanization, urban studies. So I think IHS is the only institution which is actually focusing every aspect of urbanization within India. So I thought that this is, might be a good transition. Yes, uh, uh, up to a quite extent it was meant because then I was, uh, back then I was seeing through one layer, that layer was my disciplinary boundaries. But here IHS provided the faculty and the electives and the common subjects provided me lenses to delayer even a common aspect of uh, our everyday life. And to be specific, I mean, uh, the lenses or uh, the education which I received in particular helped me to connect my particular identity with the journal biographies of others. So if I am I'm here, I'm here in the society, I'm connected to others in many layers, identity, society, region, city, language, dialect, culture. So I think this fellowship helped me to at least start to see these layers. I think course structure is, is good. I mean, Good would be an understatement. It's rigorous, no doubt, uh, but it helps you to build and grow gradually. So you start with foundations, then you go to commons, and you streamline into electives where you want to be particularly you know, trained in certain aspects. So for my, it was climate change. For, for my professional journey, I chose climate change, economics, and uh, geospatial learning. In particular, the uh, the economics of cities, uh, which is by one of our faculty, Amog, uh, that elective was useful for me because I had no uh, economics background, and the electives helped me to build uh, an eye to even entry into the field of economics. I, I'm not still aware about economic principles and all, but at least now when I see any economics paper or in any economic uh, typology or terminology, I'm not afraid of, you know, that, okay, oh, I don't know economics. I can actually glide through it and understand what actually the term is and what it means in certain, say, academic paper or even in a newspaper. I think it was a phenomenal job for uh, for entire IHS faculty and administration because we didn't feel the burning out pressure while engaging with the faculties or during the online session. We didn't, I didn't feel in particular. So I would say hats off because, and I enjoyed a lot, enjoyed in a sense of learning outcomes, enjoyed in a sense of uh, activities which we did during the online session. And offline, it's, offline is, was really good. I think practica was really good. Uh, offline because uh, we did dive into certain principles and learnings which we did in our online session and we actually used what we learned from our commons and foundation into a practica. So it's like theory practice thing. So I, I, I believe that the co commons and practica and online and offline both sessions were balanced and the, it was a great learning outcome for me.
there's a, there, there's a division between theory and practice, right? So for instance, if I, I've learned about qualitative interviews uh, or qualitative research in theory, I need to practice it. I need to practice how they are quote. I need to practice that there's a difference between an idealistic interview and how interviews happen realistically under certain circumstances where where my identity plays a role, where how I'm dressed plays a role, where the internal and external pressures in the uh, on the field or around the people plays a role. That theory cannot teach, that uh, a person can learn through practice. So the, the, the entire uh, offline construct or structuring provides that opportunity to utilize what you have learned throughout in the class on your field. So I like the identity one in uh, uh, when commons were starting. Uh, I like the foundation uh, method class. The foundation method class taught me, which I I believe, and I've been into university setup for uh, quite a long time. The uh, the foundation terms method class taught me how to frame an inquiry, which is really important for any kind of research, even in academia or in general. These things are not taught in most of the institutions, whether they are state universities and central universities. This fellowship provided me with an opportunity to, opportunity to even practice those things and understand what an inquiry is and how abstract and concrete inquiries and questions can be from, formed through a certain research theme. Uh, I like the economics class also. Uh, I think the way it was structured, it was really good. Uh, I literally had no issues in, in understanding complex uh, uh, economic, basic economic uh, ideas, whether it is in particular Peralta optimality or any other macro microeconomic ideas. I like uh, data analysis. I've all, all also uh, opted for advanced data skill. Uh, I was looking throughout uh, my career where I can get to understand GIS better. And I think uh, uh, the faculty in GIS, Geospatial Lab, uh, they, they also taught us really good methods, whether it's Amrut or Teja. Each and every fellow which is in the current batch, they have their own stories. And what this fellowship does, it, it weaves your stories into their stories. I think that's the beauty of this fellowship, where someone is from, say, Tamil Nadu, someone is from, say, uh, Kerala, someone is from, say, Gujarat, someone is from, say, Uttar Pradesh or Bihar. We all have our personal struggles. We all have our personal experience. We all have our personal success. The best part of collective learning comes from these experience, and this fellowship provides that opportunity. My project is on household risk and insurance. It's a larger part of a social protection project, which is under IHS. And it basically, the idea is to, to know what forms of risk does an in, in, an in, in, in a non-formal sector uh, people face, whether it's a female or a male or any kind of uh, worker. So it actually delves into not only social protection in the form of, say, food uh, or uh, income or employment, but also in form of housing and shelter. So I'm looking into how non-formal workers see risks, in particularly after COVID or during the lockdown. And are there any insurance products available for them? Or they are just, uh, they just fall short in terms of say, either to health or to employment. Hindi bhashi logo se mera yehi kehna hai ki agar aapko lagta, yadi aapko lagta hai ki aapko yahaan pe ek manch milega, lekin aap का जो बैरियर है वो हिंदी है और यहाँ पे सिर्फ अंग्रेजी अंग्रेजी में है तो ऐसा बिल्कुल नहीं है आ, आज भी हमारे करंट बैच में भी 2020 से 2021 बैच में भी काफी हिंदी बोलने वाले लोग हैं और उन उनको भी आईएचएस 
पूरी की पूरी अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ देता है और आपको यदि कोई कॉन्सेप्ट समझ में नहीं आता है तो वो ये फैकल्टीज़ पूरी कोशिश करती हैं कि उसको समझ आपको समझाया जाए तो आ, अंग्रेजी बोलना कोई बैरियर नहीं है यदि आपको ऐसा लगता है तो कृपया करके तब भी अप्लाई करें अगर आप अपना ऐसे हिंदी में भी लिख सकते हैं ऐसा कोई एप्लीकेशन में एप्लीकेशन की पूरी प्रक्रिया में ऐसा कुछ भी कोई ऐसी बाध्य चीज़ नहीं है कि नहीं आप अंग्रेज़ी में ही लिखेंगे और हिंदी से है हिंदी हिंदी बोलनी आती है अंग्रेज़ी बोली नहीं आती है तो हिंदी कोई किसी चीज़ के लिए आपको बाध्य नहीं करेगी और यहाँ पे उस चीज़ का भी ख्याल रखा गया है तो खुल के अपनी एप्लीकेशन भरें और बेझिझक अप्लाई करें आपका ध्यान सिर्फ सीखने में अगर है तो भाषा बाध्य नहीं हो सकती है